Okay. Hello, Gemini. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. This is your weekly tarot reading for August um, 21st through the 27th, 2023. Thank you so much. If you already subscribed to the channel, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you enjoy the reading, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. So, Gemini, take what resonates, leave the rest. So let's just jump right into your reading for the week ahead. Pulling your oracle message first. We're going to pull three cards here to see what's coming through. Narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Wow. Everybody's getting journey, pathways, moving forward with something new, which is great. Distance thunder, clear the air. Okay, what else for Gemini for the week ahead? Overcoming excuse me, obstacles. You can overcome anything. Okay, let's take a look at this first. Now, narrow pathway is a little bit of a warning to think things through, Gemini. So there could be... Um, something that's coming up or um, an idea or something that you want to go do or venture into and it's telling you to kind of think things through the reason you might have to think things through is what this card says overcoming obstacles but it is reassuring you gemini that you can overcome anything now i really feel that you're getting distant thunder clear the air because this is needed to shake things up so you don't become stuck and stagnant and even though it's saying think things through it's actually still um, telling you to clear the air which could be release situations and people who do not empower you gemini you know clear the air it's um it's clearing out energy that um, is draining your energy, um, standing in your way, so to speak. So that's what this is all about, overcoming obstacles. And you can overcome anything as you're clearing the way. So think about what is preventing you from getting, to, getting you to where you want to go or who is preventing you. Certainly, that's what's coming through on your oracle message today. Okay, we're going to go on to pulling uh, your tarot cards for the week ahead. So what's coming through for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? Uh, we have our first card, the Ace of Swords. Now, this is a very simple spread that I do every morning for myself to get immediate messages as to what I need to know, what I might need to do, or, um, you know, it gets me thinking about things. So what else for a Gemini? The Eight of Wands. Beautiful. What else for Gemini for the week ahead? Ten of Cups. Oh, Gemini, this is beautiful. Oh, once you clear out whatever's standing in your way. Wow, look at this energy that's coming through. Oh, the Star card. Wow. Wow. And your overall energy, oh, beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, okay. All right, Gemini. Let's um, pull your crystal for the week ahead as I have a tendency to forget that. <laughs> I've done that, or I forgot to pull it. So let's see what comes through. These actually have things on both sides, so it's where Spirit wants me to stop, which is there. Ooh, Morganite. Compassion, renewal, and love. Okay. All right. Gemini. Next, what I like to do is pull the clarifying cards. So for the Ace of Swords, let's clarify. And this one's wanting to come out. Ooh, Three of Swords. 
Ten of Swords. Okay, definitely some difficulty you're coming out of. Eight of Wands. The World. The Sun. Beautiful energy. Coming out of the darkness into the light, Gemini. Ten of Cups. Four of Pentacles. King of Wands. The Star card. Page of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, now this is your overall energy, your Ace of Pentacles here. So let's see. Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Wow, Gemini. Okay, so what does all this mean? Definitely here. The Ace of Swords is an opportunity for you to leave what's in the past, what um, is not working for you, all the difficulties. It's this, overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything, Gemini, and that's exactly what you're doing. No more spiraling, like out of control. You're being uh, very laser-focused, Ace of Swords is an opportunity that's coming in for success after you've had a long, tough journey. It's an indication here, disappointment, possibly in regards to relationships. Ten of Swords, the worst is over. So it doesn't get any clearer than that. Next, you have the Eight of Wands. If you've been watching my channel for some time, you know I always get excited at the Eight of Wands and, of course, the direction. This is almost like um, with these wands, it's almost like you're sit laying on the ground and you're looking up at all the different um, avenues or resources or directions that you could go in. It's almost a, a sky's the limit kind of energy. Although the Eight of Wands is an indication of good news coming in, I do certainly feel that there is uh, some news coming in. Um, also can be some kind of influence with the Eight energy here. An influence of how you're thinking. There could be results, news, information coming in that gets you thinking in a different way. And that might be where you're clearing the air. Getting rid of what no longer serves a purpose. And that is this energy here because I see you going into the light. Your clarifying cards is there's something definitely coming to an end and something immediately starting up right afterwards. There is no rest. Love, happiness, creativity, triumph, success. Beautiful energy coming in. So definitely the worst is over, Gemini. If you've been having a hard time, could be in regards to relationships, your job, where you're living, a project you're working on. If you clear the air, which is getting rid of people, places, things that are in your way, obstacles, overcoming these obstacles, then you can overcome anything. There's a journey that you're thinking about, something, a direction you want to go in. And certainly the Morganite crystal, I'm not real familiar with this crystal, but it says it's a peachy color. And it comes from the mineral manganese. So, but it's in regards to compassion, renewal, which I see coming in here, and love. So definitely there could be some hurts here, past relationship, but that's all behind you now. And you're clearing the air, most importantly. Getting rid of people that no longer serve a purpose to you, Gemini. Uh, people that are hindering, people that are maybe frenemies, they don't truly support you in what you're doing. So definite endings and then right away, you know, new beginnings, very positive new beginnings as well. And here we go. 
the Ten of Cups. This is a beautiful card in energy. Kind of stepping back out of reality a little bit, uh, looking for um, the best possible outcome that you want. That's what the Ten of Cups is. This is a uh, an overabundance of joy, the perfect scenario where you um, have the uh, your relationships going well, where your living is going well, friends, family, everything's going well in your life. That's the kind of feeling that you could be experiencing um, with um, letting go of this energy, stepping out of the dark into the light, a new beginning, letting go and then going off into a new beginning. And for some of you, definitely um, with this being the Four of Pentacles, this is in regards to either your health, this is going to be... Um, a very positive benefit to your health and well-being. This could also be in regards to your work environment. You might be stepping away from a very volatile work of an environment or an environment where your gifts and talents aren't appreciated. So looking for uh, new options, new companies, putting yourself out there. Uh, Four of Pentacles is like really um, step out of your comfort zone in order to increase your wealth here, your options. And the King of Wands is certainly a Leo individual, possibly um, maybe uh, sparking an influence here, getting some information from a Leo where it gets you start thinking in a certain way, you know, getting rid of some ob obstacles, getting rid of maybe toxic people or people that are interfering or holding you back. You have the star card, major arcana card. So very strong, very positive energy coming in for you this week. And you're just really holding on to this, this wish, this desire. And it's right next to your 10 of cups. So that is what you're um, leaning towards the most. You have the 17 of the star card that reduces to eight. Eight is abundance, influence. These two, these cards all kind of go together as there is something coming in, pushing you off in a new direction. Something is ending and right behind it is new beginnings, love, happiness, um, possibly more wealth. Um, it involves a Leo in some way. So it might be somebody you already know, someone you trust, someone that maybe you're partnered with, or it could be someone that's involving like this new path that... Um, you know, there is, a, there is a new path coming in. Something new is wanting to come in. Something that you need to kind of think about. Don't just dive in. But you are overcoming uh, people, situations, obstacles. The worst is over here. Now, there is something coming in with the star card, the hope. This is news coming in. This is learning the truth to uh, the matter at hand, the situation, whatever you're waiting for. It's coming in very quickly. Again, the same as the Eight of Wands energy. Finding out the truth. And here, the Nine of Pentacles. Getting recognized for your gifts and talents. So very much for some Geminis, if you're proceeding in business, uh, there's going to be uh, an upswing. What you're hoping for, wishing for, could be through a Leo individual helping you with this. Nine of Pentacles is getting that harvest, having enough for yourself as well as to give to others. Nine is also um, review. Reaping the benefits. Putting in the work to get the results. Take it how it resonates, Gemini. But beautiful card in energy with the star card. It is an indication that hope is right there. Hope is on the horizon. And definitely with your cards here, overcoming obstacles. And it's saying, Gemini, you can, over, you can overcome anything. But it has to do with clearing the air, clearing out what no longer serves a purpose to you. A new path. So here we go. Overall energy is this beautiful Ace of Pentacles. We see the roots are already there. You're going to be scooping this up this week, Gemini. So Ace of Pentacles is some kind of new opportunity coming in, a new direction. Uh, as a result of something is ending, 
and a new beginning right behind it. You're taking advantage of it. You're removing any of the doubt, the obstacles, whatever was preventing you from being able to be successful and reap the benefits of all your hard work. We see here the Ten of Pentacles. This is financial security, physical security. Um, for some, it is um, for your future. Investing in your future with this Ace of Pentacles. And with the Six of Pentacles here, you have more than enough where you can share with others. So there's a double message there with that. So Gemini, beautiful cards and energy. It all kind of comes down to clearing the air, which is getting rid of people, places, things that are in your life that no longer benefits you. You need to rid yourself of that. And then you will be overcoming these obstacles, stepping out of the darkness into the light, having your happily ever after ending. All right, Gemini, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and like the video. Visit my website if you'd like to continue with a private reading. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.